Poor Mujeres Como 2 by Pepe Aguilar. Sure. Playing on YouTube Music. This is about tacos. Got him. Hey kids, today is Thursday and I want to talk about tacos. Groundbreaking comes to Mexico, makes a vlog about tacos. Gringos. Gringos. I have beef. We come to Mexico and then we come back and we say, I love the tacos. Like it's some kind of monolith. Like tacos is one thing. Yes, it's understood that tacos can have different fillings and different things inside of them, but tacos can differ so much more besides what's occasionally inside of them. Happy Pride. They can differ in how they're made, they can differ in where you can find them, which isn't just what region of Mexico, but are you buying them on a street corner or out of the back of a bicycle? They can differ in what times they're available. There are breakfast tacos. Amigos mexicanos, por favor, no pide nada en Estados Unidos que se llama un breakfast taco. Wait, the son asquerosos. It's just eggs and shit. It's gross. <laughs> Scrambled eggs, cheese, bell peppers, bacon. Boys. <laughs> any of you that have lived in Mexico for any amount of time, including Mexican people, are probably saying, that's super obvious. Oye, ¿sabías que tacos son para desayunar? Sí. <laughs> I have friends that wake up and crave tacos the way that I wake up and crave iced coffee and two hours on my phone. Some tacos are as breakfasty as pancakes and bacon or miso soup in Japan. We're already learning so much about food. This is big news. More importantly, this is strategic information because breakfast tacos are hard to get after three o'clock in the afternoon. You know, when I'm eating for the first time. There is a category of taco, barbacoa, carnitas, tacos de canasta, where the taquero arrives with a certain amount of product. The señor gets there in the morning with X amount of carnitas and starts selling tacos. And if they're good, and spoiler alert, if it's a señor selling tacos on the corner, they're gonna be good. He runs out by like 1 p.m. And so while you can get carnitas at, wait a minute, am I doing a giada? In the spaghetti. I'm so, spaghetti? I give her so much shit for that. And now I'm doing it. Is giada just a fellow white woman that learned a foreign language and doesn't like to mispronounce words? That's true. Am I the drama? So, since some tacos are harder to get later in the day, they kind of become breakfast tacos. Sort of like a McGriddle, except you can get a McGriddle whenever you want now, because capitalism. In fact, it took me three tries to get these tacos. We go live to Chris in the field. Thanks, Chris. I'm reporting from the field on my third time trying to pick up tacos for this video, and for the third time, I've got here too late. Back to you, Chris. Which is why today, I got my shit together, got there early, and got these. Oh my God. So I'm thinking this part, I'm gonna do an unboxing, but then we're gonna get a close-up footage of both of us preparing our tacos to eat, and I'm gonna do a The taco de canasta, or basket taco, is named for the large plastic-lined baskets they're both steamed in and sold from. There are three classic fillings, chicharron, frijol, and papas con chorizo. The tacos are prepared early in the morning and packed tight into their basket before being doused in hot oil, which both flavors and lightly steams them. Because they're made in bulk and usually pretty small, tacos de canasta are cheap and are popular with students and obreros. Because they're so simple, the salsa is crucial, even more so than with other tacos, usually a salsa roja or salsa verde. Though the exact origin of these tacos is disputed, they are heavily associated with the state of Tlaxcala. The basket makes them portable, so it's not hard to find these tacos. In fact, they usually find you, sold out of the trunk of the family car or off the back of a bicycle. Just listen for the grito. Now that there are prepared tacos on the table, I'm going to stop talking and continue with the only logical course of action. Eat tacos. Provecho. 
have you heard the expression? Te dejaron como limón de taquería. Te dejaron como el limón de taquería. Like squeezed and used. You. <laughs> ¿Qué significa? Exprimido. Mm -hmm. Squeezed. Juiced. 